What's up, guys? Uh, it's Monday. It's 8, 10. I have class in 50 minutes. And I uh, really got a shower before. And I gotta go print something off because I forgot to do it last night because I suck. But yeah, it's a butt day. I'm ready to go. I'm really tired, but you know, I'm always tired. But uh, yeah, we're gonna vlog today because I didn't get a vlog all week last week. So yeah, and uh, so I'm gonna go shower real quick and I'll catch you guys sometime throughout the rest of the day. So uh, in between that last clip and uh, now, I actually fell asleep and did not shower and wound up just going to class. Why am I like this? But yeah, so overall, my spring break was pretty good and uh, today was good. Got out of class early because our computer monitor didn't work. My professors didn't, so that was a good time. Uh, took a pretty big L though on our on my most recent Middle East test, got like a 64%, which was surprising because definitely studied, thought I would have did a little better, but whatever. Stuff happens, I guess. But um, I'm gonna have to study a little harder for that test next time. So overall, Monday was pretty good. Can't see. Trying out this new whole Casey Neistat thing where I like walk in from the side of the vlog. I've actually been thinking a lot about the vlog over break because I didn't vlog at all mainly because my computer is from the stone ages and like I'm not even joking when I say my my phone probably has a lot more computing power than my laptop does so didn't really get to do much video editing that kind of stuff over break because my computer is just ancient I was running back and forth from home uh, had work a lot this week and Honestly, I was pretty glad I didn't go anywhere over break just because it was nice to make some money. And I mean, I've got to watch a ton of basketball, got a bunch of heartbreak because all my teams are basically out except for Florida. So we'll hold on to that one. But yeah, that was basically my entire break. Wound up just doing nothing really, just working and watching basketball. So it's actually only 1030, but I am definitely really hungry so gonna eat some food gonna make some tacos at 10 30 but it won't be like till probably take like half hour to make so you know be good we we'll eat at 11 today get an early lunch So it's about 12.30, uh, I just got done catching up on my daily V, wound up spending an hour watching that, uh, just doing good stuff, always enjoy my Gary Vaynerchuk time. And on top of that, I wound up sending my emails for the day, just kinda getting some stuff figured out, got some homework to do later, not gonna be vlogging much after this though. So one thing that happened over break, since I'm talking about the emails, uh, was I wound up not actually emailing um, some companies for a couple days because my website wound up being kind of weird and uh, I had been talking for a while about getting a Squarespace and I finally said screw it and wound up doing it and so I bought it and I had a domain already but the domain I had was for this company not really a company. I, it was something that I wanted to do at the time called for JJ Frost Media. And so that is one thing I want to talk about today. thought it'd be a good lesson because, um, you know, I don't really want to vlog just kind of like of my life. I always feel like if I'm going to vlog, there should be some, you know, something to the vlog that's not just me living my boring life. I want there to be, you know, like a lesson to there for there to actually be like content or something that, you know, anybody could take away from. 
Okay, so the reason I bought this domain for JJ Frost Media was because um, probably about, it was summertime, I had the idea that I was going to start my own business. And I wound up just saying screw it and I bought the domain to the name JJ Frost Media. So yeah, I bought that domain thinking I was going to use it and I bought a camera lens. I spent probably, you know, it was a lot of money. I won't you know, say specifics, but it was a good chunk of change. And uh, basically wound up taking a 180, like up to now. And I think, you know, probably the main reason and the main problem with that was I wasn't really self-aware of what I wanted to do, where I wanted to be. Um, and I really, I really wasn't like self-aware and like realistic about where I'm at in life and where I, you know, where I was and how I'm going to go about you know, owning this business. So, needless to say, scrapping J. Frost, JJ Frost Media to the side. Uh, on the bright side, at least, it wound up being something that I can, uh, I mean, like, it's not like a business name, really, I guess. So, I'm going to use it at least for the year because uh, I'm not going to pay for another domain. And also, someone has jaredfrost.com, which is really annoying. So, that sucks. It was just an idea that I half you know that I half did and put some money into so I don't want to say I really wasted my money on it but I kind of wasted my money on it I could have uh, now that I I mean now that I know a lot a lot more about lenses than I did you know half a year ago seven months ago I would say I could have probably spent my money on something a little more like versatile than just one specific you know thing for like portrait lenses but you know that's it it was just the way the cookie crumbled, and uh, yes, have to deal with it and move on. So that side story kind of brings me back to what this whole thing was about, because I was getting my website all figured out, and I wound up going with Squarespace. I had a problem with um, connecting the DNS. I'm not, I'm not really huge into coding or really like building websites but basically since i didn't buy the domain through squarespace it kind of had to transfer from google and uh it took a couple hours to uh have a secure site basically um and it was just it was annoying i was kind of mad at myself because i didn't even want this domain but i had to use it at the time i have to use it now because i bought it at the time thinking it was something i want so the point of you know i guess the story would be don't spend money on stuff if you're not 100 percent sure that you need it if you're not 100 percent sure that you're going to use it and don't spend money on stuff just because you think it will get you to do something because it doesn't work half the time. But my website's up and running now and I got it looking okay. Uh, it's kind of a work in progress, but it's really only meant to kind of showcase what I've done, kind of some of my better work. And there's not a ton on it yet, but hopefully it fills up with the more people that I do work for. So now I'm sending out my emails again and get trying to get, you know, some clients really it's just about it uh, haven't gotten any responses yet but I probably sent 20 25 emails probably 30 30 with today I think and of those 30 uh, there was probably about five follow-up emails or follow-up texts um, I think it's just kind of weird how some companies or people you know you'll talk to them and be like hey you know I want to do this for you and I don't want to charge you and they'll be like, yeah, it's a great idea. And then you'll talk and then they just won't text you back or they just won't email you back and they just kind of go cold. There was a company recently that I just did some pictures for actually that I wanted to continue working for to make a video. And I wanted it to kind of be a video that told people about their company and just was kind of like an intro video, I guess, that they could upload to Facebook, Twitter, that kind of stuff to show people. And I thought it was a pretty good idea. And they seemed all on board. And, uh, wound up taking the pictures for him and after that it was just kind of haven't heard back from him since and it just kind of sucked because I guess I don't really see I don't know if it was something I did wrong or if they just are too busy um just haven't gotten a response and you get that a lot and you know I understand people will have you know lives are busy they got stuff going on we all do we all got crap but I guess I just kind of expected at least like a, hey, yeah, we're interested or no, we're not interested type deal. But, 
you can't really let those kinds of things bother you, I guess. You just have to keep moving on. Eventually, you're going to get people that will, you know, let you do work for them and will let you, you know, make cool stuff for them. So for me, I'm just really focused right now on trying to give some value to these companies that I want to do work for because ultimately, I am thinking, trying to think long term and think that by doing this, not doing it for money, that I'm going to build some good relationships and they're going to help me out when the time comes for, you know, either a good reference on a resume or, you know, if they wind up actually having some work that they are willing to pay for, you know, they'll help me out down the long line. For me, that's what it's all about right now. Because for me, kind of being like a freelancer, I'm not going to be able to bring that, you know, really good quality content like a media company could bring. But there are also benefits to me being a freelancer and not being a media company because I can work my butt off for them and I can be really personal with them and I can give them that value. And that's what I'm really trying to hit home right now is just giving that value to these companies so I can really get those good business relationships. And just one last thing that I wanted to kind of touch on before this vlog is over was that this year kind of in general has been a really humbling experience for me. One thing a lot of people really don't know about me was I've been around video editing and cameras and stuff since I was about 13 years old. I feel like I've always kind of been creative and like felt the desire to kind of make videos and stuff. I have videos from school projects, you know, video editing, Call of Duty montages and that kind of stuff just from when I was younger. So when I got to school and decided that I was going to kind of pursue this hobby, I really felt like I already knew known a lot of stuff and that it couldn't be that hard. And boy was I wrong. There's a lot of people that know a lot more than I do, and there's a lot of people that are better at it than I am. And that's why this year has been really humbling for me. It's really taught me that I really don't know a ton when it comes to the technicality of a camera and video editing in the best resolution possible and stuff. I know, I know a lot, but there's a lot of people who do it better than I do, and I really want to kind of surround myself with those people because they're going to make me better. And ultimately, that mentality is kind of what caused me to spend that money, I guess, thinking about it a couple months ago, was that I thought I'd known a lot, and I thought I didn't really need help, and I thought I couldn't learn a ton more about it. So yeah, hindsight, I would say I definitely think that mentality is kind of what caused me to spend my money so lavishly like that, and thinking, um, thinking that if I don't have a ton to learn, and I, you know, already am really good at what I do, you know, I can buy this stuff and I can spend this money on this, this domain and, you know, work on building this website. And uh, it was really humbling and, you know, it really knocked me down a peg and I'm really grateful for that, actually. I wouldn't really change how I went about it because it's definitely taught me now, you know, I feel like... I feel like I get better every day. I feel as if today, if I were to make a video, like it would be the best video I could make. And I, one thing I really noticed is that I've all I felt that progression since I started, you know, since I came to school. I thought, you know, when I first started in my first media class, I can make a good video. And I look back on that now, that video wasn't that good. And I can, you know, definitely see my progression and I can definitely see that I am getting better and learning more and understanding kind of the the ins and outs of you know video editing and video making and so I definitely see that progress now and I really hope to continue to get better and I hope that you know every day every month every year I can look back and go I thought I could make a great video then I can make an even better one now so that's really all I kind of had planned for today I got some homework to do later and might have a fire tonight and that's really about it uh, one reason I feel like I'm gonna get asked is why am I always vlogging in my room well right now it's like the best place that I can control lighting my house isn't really well lit and I mean I spend time in my room like this is where I work and stuff this is where you know I spend a lot of my time is at you know my computer which is kind of messy right now so ignore that but you know ultimately that's where I spend a lot of my day and this vlog isn't really me just kind of living my life it's me kind of documenting my progress I would say as a uh, creator and be kind of me developing my personal brand and stuff from those macro goals there so that's why I'm in here a lot but 
we'll see you guys next time. I appreciate you watching this. I feel like I do a lot of thumbs up, but whatever. We're doing another.